Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTT Series 10 Let's Play. I hope you're enjoying it. I am. It's great fun, isn't it? In the last live stream, we finished some of the lines around Kenpool in the uh, Preservation Islands Challenge, and we expanded it as well. Over down here, we've got a station down at Tudfield, and we've got a station all the way over here. Ah, Anvil. Now, this station's quite blank, it still needs some development, and we haven't got any trains running on this area yet. But it's been a fun little project to try and make some realistic stations and lines. Now, today, we're going to break away from that project, because if we don't pay attention to what we're doing, we're going to have to uh, have a problem. So that problem is at Hellish City. Now, Hellish City, over the live stream grew to the point where there was 2,335 people, where if we look at the goals, well, that's okay. You see, we've got an absolute ton of passengers coming in. We're absolutely killing that. Mail is all doing good as well. I would say about five or six times the amount of mail than we actually need. The next goal is coal at 4,000 population. So we've got a bit of a breathing space. There's no extra amount that we have to do of something at 3,000. And, well, we already have coal being delivered. The problem here is, is that if we do not take any action, we're going to have a food shortage. So at the moment, we are okay. We've delivered 150 units uh, last month, and we need 111. We don't have much of a buffer there, and that number increases with the population. So we've got coal sorted out so that we can go past 4,500, up to 5,000 in population, and that's when the next time we have to do something is. But 5,000 population is more than double what we've got here now, and we definitely don't have more than double the amount of food ready to roll. So we need to fix that and sort it out. So this station here is where the food's coming in. Uh, it doesn't actually accept food at the moment, although there is actually a lot of food just sat there waiting to be transferred at the moment. You know what? One of the things we can do, and I think I, I've been umming and ahhing about this for a while. I was like, oh, there's no point in building a, a, I think it's a grocery store. Let's go to the groceries. Fund new industry. It's a... Uh, general store, sorry, general store. There's no point in spending all the money to build that because, well, the town will eventually grow around this station and it will accept food. But I think that this is really the crux of the problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to fund this now and unfortunately it takes away a house. So we'll take away that one. So our population did dip ever so slightly. But now, uh, once that's built we'll accept food and we can just use this shuttle train to move um, whatever's left. Now these trains that are coming down here we're gonna have to look at their orders and change them I think yes yeah, so we've got transfer and leave empty that basically forces the items onto the platform to be picked up by another vehicle what we want is unload all and leave empty so what that will do is it'll allow an unload at the station and just go which is fine. Uh, and then if there's any left over, I believe you can transfer it. So we don't want to force the transfer. We want we want this station to actually be able to accept food, which it will be able to soon. Thank goodness for shared orders, eh? Right, so let's unpause the game a little bit. We've got to wait until this general store is put up. And our money bank balance is raising up nicely. We're going to be able to do lots of building while paused in this series to get some really fantastic networks going. Now, I could try and improve this train and the shuttle service into town for the food, but I really just don't feel the need there at all. Um, we're probably going to have to have some sort of transfer service because we're going to need to get uh, in the future, if we have a look at this, and I'm sure I've talked about this in the live streams. If we look at the requirements here, you can see that we've got sodium hydroxide, and ho uh, if you look at the industry chains for uh, sodium hydroxide, the only thing that accepts it is a wharf. So we have to have a wharf in uh, near the city. So we're gonna have to dig uh, a water channel and put a wharf in. 
Now, I noticed this pool down here, and I think that's a good place to start. And I don't know exactly where this wharf's going to be or, or how I want to connect the stations up. But I feel like... If I'm planning for the station, I feel like I want the station, the drop-off station to be here within these bits of, um, oh no, we don't want that, we want the road, there we go, within these bits. So then we've got a gap of three blocks between those stations and this new station, however that may be. So let's just buy that out, we've got enough, we've got enough money so we don't have to worry about that. I'm not exactly sure where it is. So that says to me that the wharf needs to be somewhere around here. Now, I'll, what what matters, and this is something that we've checked with um, with the team on the Discord and we've been talking to each other, what matters is the default station name when you place it down uh, for the City Builder script. So if the City Builder script, when you place a station, starts with Hellish City, because that's the name of the city, then it, it counts as being uh, a, a station that can accept the thing that you need. So in theory, the actual wharf itself can be further away from the city, and that doesn't matter. So maybe we can look at doing another big station. I mean, I don't know where it would go or which orientation. Maybe we can come out south this way and then just... Yeah, that, that kind of works for me. So I I want to put a station in, but I, I don't want to put a station in. And I just want to prepare this for later, whilst we're keeping an eye on the food situation. Speaking of which, our general store has been has popped up now, and you can see that our station now accepts food. Now we still have 3,000 tons of food available, but um, that's, that's going to be taken away by train 13. So we'll have to keep an eye on train 13. Uh, also, these trains here probably need upgrading. They're a bit too short these days. Don't know how many more trains are here. Uh, in addition, we also need to get these two farms involved as well. So hopefully we'll get a chance to do that after we fix the wharf issue. Right then. Let's do... Should we put a station in? Yeah, okay. So we're going to be... Dr we're going to be dropping off sodium hydroxide, which I believe is a liquid. Uh, we can fix this later if we need to. So for now, I'm just going to go raw materials, I think. What we got here? Milk tanks. I think milk tanks might be uh, one of the best ones that we can add. There's oil facilities and water pumping station. You know what? Water pumping station is what I'm going for. Let's drag and drop that. We'll have it 12 by 6 again. There we go. And that is going to be our water pumping situation. And now we need the wharf within the coverage. So the corner of the wharf needs to probably be over here. So we're going to need water uh, to be able to build a wharf. So let's... I'm just going to... I think I'm going to eyeball a strip. There we go. We eyeballed a strip. So then I think what we'll do is we'll come this way. Just make it a little bit bigger to begin with. And we'll let that fill up with water. And we'll see if I can move that around a little bit and get a wharf in there sometime soon. So once again, we're going to unpause the game. It's Oh, it's 1939 at the moment. Uh, we're not going to be taking any of your game saves yet. A few people have asked, oh, is it time for me to submit my game save? Just make sure you're saving that game save, reg save regularly. I think I said every 10 years on the website. Um, and then when I ask for the game saves, you'll, you'll have it available in case you're ahead or you want to catch up. It's all good. So you can see Hellish City here is... Um, did we drop food off there? I'm not even sure if we drop food off at Herlish City East or not. But we're doing okay. So, yeah, that's still getting income. Hopefully that amount of food will drop down. And the amount of food we delivered has absolutely shot up already. But that's because we're getting a direct delivery of food by one train. Um, 
now it's going to be a little while until the next train comes. So we need more regular trains, which is why we need to get the other farms hooked up. So whilst that water's coming in, let's look at actually doing that. First of all, let's go to this farm. So this farm looks like it could be a little tricky. Following the hillside, want to get a station in here. What sort of station did we use? We used, oh, a split station. Okay, let's just do like grain loading for now and then we can change it around if we need to. So that does food. That's fine. And if I can get that 12 long by 4 wide. Oh, look at that. I mean, we're going to have to do some changing around, but we're facing the right way. And we're facing the right way. Fantastic. We can also pop some livestock um, platforms in as well while we're at it. Costs a little bit of money, but I don't care. Right, we're having a sharp turn on the exit. Again, that's not the most you know, best thing to do, but again, I, I don't really mind so much. And then on the exit here, I'm going to try and have length... So we're actually going to let the trains accelerate along here. So I want this to be length 12. We'll give it a little bit more. And then the incoming line can be similar. And then this is where we want the depots and things. So we are going to have to bring the land up. It's so nice to be in... Uh, to be able to change the land after working in the preservation lands and not being able to adjust anything it's nice to be able to come in somewhere and actually then adjust a bit of land when i need to right let's remove the forbidden bit of track make sure we got the right signals Oop. there we go looks good to me signal spacing's not right i don't think i think i was using two round here yes i was there we go So I can put that along the line. And then this is actually wrong uh, because we need a signal on the exits. And I... Oh, can we fit it in there? Oh, look, you can fit it in there, but not here. Oh, look at that. I could do three of the platforms. That's unfortunate. Okay, never mind. I'll just adjust this bit. We'll get it coming out here like this. And yes, these signals will all have to go. So auto tool signal remove. That's the three key combination so it's a s and then r for that but now i can get all my signals in we'll put one more there don't even need to adjust the land and there we go right then so then this has got to connect up to the main line which mm, is going to go through that river at some point we'll dig a little channel through here it's not a massive um a massive slice out the hillside it's a it's not a small one but it's not humongous we're not devastating an entire hill we're just slicing through the corner and then here just make it nice and neat to come down and then we want to come down again but i'm gonna let's see let's line that up pull that back a little music's a little loud for me there you go that's a bit better there we go that way the train is never going up or down more than one square at once and now we've got this river to deal with and connecting up to the main line um now a massive diagonal would be beneficial here i guess we oh yeah this is going to be interesting i don't know whether it's going to be a problem but let's let's bring this to here. Maybe I'll adjust that in a bit. And we need hmm, how big's that diagonal? Might need to come out further actually. New viewer plus <laughs> subscriber. Fantastic. Oh, if you can hear the music, it's because I just got a viewer plus subscriber whilst um, recording this video if you can't hear it it's going to be a bit weird <laughs> but there we go um i need to turn that off uh because it even if you can't hear it it's distracting for me when i'm recording so we might need a better corner there because i want to avoid just completely damaging this river 
But then I need to connect up to there. Ooh, these two are difficult. Okay, let's pause the game and see how we're getting on over here. Ah, right, the water has flown through. Uh, the city has shrunk ever so slightly. Uh, but we are slowly getting through all of this uh, food and delivering it. Fantastic. Let's fund our wharf. Now, for the wharf, it would be nice if it was kind of in line with the station. So let's do that. And if I go down to the bottom, how much is a wharf? 2.6 million. Site and suitable, apparently. Okay, maybe this area has to be bigger. Maybe it has to be in a different orientation. Let's just dig a little bit more out. And I guess we're going to have to leave the game running a little bit. I mean, those tiles shouldn't take long. Uh, right. Yeah, so we're going to need a tunnel here for this one to come straight over. Which is... That's fine, actually. It's just the river that's in the way. I think I can do that. I think I can make that work. Ah, look. Here we go. Here we go. Fund new industry. Let's try again. It's a lot of money to fund a wharf, but I'm planning ahead. There we go. We got it in, and... It's in the coverage, although this says it accepts nothing at the moment. Oh no, there we go. Now it, now it accepts the sodium hydroxide. So just to neaten this up, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll connect this pool up to the, um, to the wharf. We'll just neaten that up so like there's a channel down here. And then bring that in like that. And then if we want to do boaty things, we can do. But we've got that in. We've got a city. It's named by default has Hellish City in it. So it should be accepting sodium hydroxide for later. Yes, fantastic. Um... Maybe I should get the other stations put in. Nah, that's, that's thinking a little bit too far ahead, I think. Now, thinking of uh, talking of thinking of ahead, I didn't think ahead here. Um, I should have thought ahead, and I should have thought, oh, I really, really want to be able to put something in here, but I can't. Okay, let's try a tunnel there. Okay, that, that works, actually. So then it's just this wiggle of this bit of... Hmm, I suppose there's, there's nothing wrong with a little kink. I could put a little kink in there to get around the river. But then it looks like we might end up demolishing half of this river anyway. I don't know what to do. I think because we have the preservation lands, I'm a little bit more inclined to just go, you know what? I need this space for a nice neat network and some of you don't like that but you know what I don't mind it there we go we've got the preservation lands okay so all of these signals appear to be the right way around this is accepting farm supplies so presumably we can get the trains in that we want to be able to do the things that we need to do we've got a split there with a yeah that all looks good to me okay so we need some trains uh, why can't I click on the depot? Uh, it looks like even though the sprite changes for the depot, you still have to click in the space of the old depotiness. Anyway, so what I'm going to do to start things off is I'm going to clone one of these trains from over here. There we go. And then we're going to have a look at the power to weight ratio. Uh, minimum performance is 2 there. Okay, let's clone the vehicle again and make it longer. Let's make it 10 in mm, 7.5. Mm, how long shall I make this? I want it to be 10, but I just feel like that's going to make the train so slow. How long are these trains? Um, that's a good question. Let's pretend we need a new one. 
clone train. Let's see if it costs the same amount to get rid of as it. So that's 50 grand to buy the train. It's length seven. Get rid of the train, 50 grand, yes. So you, if a train's not used, you get all your money back. It was, that was something I wanted to know a little while back. So if we make this one length seven, get rid of that train and that train. There we go. Check its orders, it shouldn't be shared. No, it's not. Uh, change the top order to the right one. Full load any cargo, Unleave, uh, unload and leave empty. Let's have this in the middle for now. I like it just stopping in the middle if it's not quite long enough. And what's the performance? 1.3 horsepower per ton. 1.3 is a little bit low, but oh well, never mind. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why I did that. What I wanted to do was clone the train so there's at least three of them. And then send them on their way. So that's two farms hooked in now, which is fantastic. Now this one's got depots after the station, which, yeah, you, you can have. And it's also got the loop around, which we haven't got here. I almost feel like I should have. How how big's that? 18. Hmm. See, if I push it out a little bit more to here, that's still plenty big enough. But can I fit anything else in there? I'm not so sure I can. I think this will do. This will do quite nice. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we've got a second farm in with the trains. We've got a wharf ready for later. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to just make sure that we remember that this area here in front, we want to keep that. That's our special area. Uh, for where the trains are going to go out. And then I think we're going to do something similar here. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll remove... No, not try and rebuild road. Remove this little bit of road. And then we're going to put a train station in. We're just going to do use the default station, I think. Or should we just use British platforms and have a plain tile? Oh, ooh, that's an interesting way of reserving land. Because then it is a station, just with no tracks, and I can put it in later. 12 by 6. Can't build railway station here. Why not? Doesn't seem to like to drag the, the plain tile in an area. Oh, it has to be a 1 by 1? Well, that's a bit rubbish. Okay, let's let's just do bare platform then. 12 by 6. There we are. Bare platform, just so that we've got it um, marked in where we need it. Okay. I mean, I don't know what all of these platforms are going to be for, but it's just nice to keep things neat, right? Okay. Uh, again, just some bare platform. 12 by 6. I mean, that's the wrong orientation, but never mind. 12 by 6. And let's fix the orientation of this. I mean, it only costs 26 grand, and when you've got 4 million in the bank account, who cares? Right, let's just make sure we buy a good portion of land in front of these uh, stations. And I am aware that we're crashing into our own tracks there but that's fine look at that now i want to rename these at some point um and they should be okay we might need to fund some new industries at the various different areas and have some shuttle services going all over the place but for now i'm kind of glad that we just earmarked those places for future use and maybe we can uh rename them better like west we, we've got north south east and west so maybe this could be north East, or maybe we could name the stations after the viewer plus subscribers okay uh, I think we need to put this one in and I don't want to it's it's in a horrendous place right on the top of a hill but I kind of feel like it needs to be done um, the other option is is that we shuttle the stuff down the hill with something else other than a train 
Uh, but I don't, I don't see why. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave that up to you in the comments. What do you think I should do with farm number three? With, with, um, Plunt Hill Farm. Very aptly named with it being right on the top of the hill there. Do you think I should bring railways down? If you do, do you think I should just flatten some land and plonk a station up there and bring the tracks down? How do you think I should manage that particular one? Put it down in the comments and I'll check out all your comments and we'll, we'll do that farm sometime soon. But I'm hoping between these two farms we should have enough supplies for a good little while. We do need more coal mines. I don't know if any more coal mines have appeared on the map. Let's have a look. So let's disable all these and just turn on the coal mines. Uh, the answer is no. No, there's no more coal mines at the moment. I mean, there is this one all the way up here, which is what I was heading towards, but the lines aren't quite there yet. There are some farms up here as well, so there is the option to bring food in from the, the from up there. Maybe we could put do a food bypass, right? Bring food all the way around and then bring it in here. I'm not sure, but um, there we go. I, I think we're going to leave it there for now. Put all your thoughts, ideas and questions down in the comment section. And I look forward to seeing you in the live streams or in the next video where we're going to continue doing Hellish City and the Preservation Lands. And probably next video, we'll go have a look at the no train zone as well and start thinking about other modes of transport. But that's going to be all from me for now. Thanks for watching, take care, and until I see you next time, goodbye.